Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Command LED Bullet Clearance or Side Marker Light. So once you kind of grab the light and hold it in your hand, first thing I noticed is the housing. It's going to be pretty thick, feels pretty solid, so I could see this standing up pretty well to the elements. The wire length is going to be relatively long, so you have a little bit to work with there, which is always nice. I do want to mention this light is non-submersible, so definitely wouldn't recommend using it for a boat trailer or an off-road machine. Some guys put these on UTVs and stuff. Um, I think if that's your situation, a submersible type light would be more fitting. But with that being said, it also does come included with a grommet. So that's always nice. You're not going to have to worry about picking up one separately or make do with the old one. So the first thing I notice about this light is how bright it's going to be. It's almost hard to look directly at without hurting your eyes. And that's even in a really bright, well-lit room like we're in today. That's pretty impressive considering the size. Well, to be honest with you, that LED is what's gonna make it be so bright. It has a real advantage over those traditional style incandescent bulbs. They shine brighter. They don't use as much energy to turn on. And you don't have to worry about any filaments breaking so we know this is going to last for a really long time so it's really nice about the size of this light too is it's not hardly going to take up any space so we can pretty much mount this anywhere so it gives us a lot of versatility because it can fit into really tight spaces and even with the light turned off it's still going to give us some of those reflective properties because of that orange lens now, if you have a light colored trailer, or just want something a little bit different, there's also lights that we carry available with a clear lens. But at the end of the day, a great replacement light, or maybe even an upgrade, it should last for years to come. Now, as far as the installation goes, really straightforward. We only have two wires that we need to hook up, so it shouldn't take you hardly any time at all. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To get our light installed, I'm gonna come over here to the side of our trailer where we're going to put it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install the grommet. So the grommet's pretty straightforward. It just gets inserted into the side of the trailer here. Push down flat. Take our light, feed the wires through it, and then we can push it all the way in. And it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna have a black wire coming from the light and a white one. White one's going to be the ground wire and the black one's going to be power. So here I have my existing trailer wiring already ran and I'm gonna connect these wires to the light wires using heat shrink buck connectors. So these slide over the end of the wire and get crimped down. I will say these do not come included, but if you need some, you can pick them up here at each trailer. I particularly like the heat shrinks because they really do help keep moisture and everything out of the contact in here, helping to prevent any corrosion. But with that being said, our existing trailer power wires, this brown one here, so we'll crimp that into the black light wire. And our white trailer wire, that's our ground. So we'll just crimp that into the white light wire. Get that put in. Crimp down, and since I'm using these heat shrinks, I'll take my heat gun and seal up the ends. Before we tidy up our wiring, it is a good idea to put power to the trailer and make sure the light is functioning. And now that we've verified that, what I'll do is clean up our wiring and then I'll show you what it looks like once I have that done. So this is what it looks like once we have our wiring secured and I just used a zip tie to get that job done. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Command LED Bullet Clearance or Side Marker Light. 